I'm Lisa from sewinglife.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to make this boxed tote bag. So it's got boxing at the sides and at the bottom as well. It's really easy to make, it's suitable for total beginners. You can find the pattern over on my website or you can simply follow along with this tutorial. So all you'll need for this project is half a metre. Of fabric so this is half a meter and the width of it is um, 1.5 meters so that's enough to do the whole of the bag and then a matching thread the fabric that you choose obviously choose whatever fabric that you um, think is cute I've chosen a plain fabric for this project it's quite a sturdy fabric um, it's like a real heavyweight cotton so I would choose something quite sturdy something like a twill or a denim or maybe an upholstery fabric, something that will give stability um, to the uh, finished product and that will be, enable it to carry the weight that you're going to put in it. So we're going to cut out four pieces of fabric for this um, design, two pieces for the body and then um, two pieces for the straps. So I've done 50 centimetres by 50 centimetres for the body and the straps are 50 centimetres by six centimetres. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to cut out the straps. So they are 50 centimetres by six centimetres. So it's quite convenient because my fabric happens to be 50 centimetres long. So I am going to measure six centimetres from the edge. I'm going to mark it with a pencil and I'm going to do six centimetres from this edge, mark it, and then I'm just going to draw a line because I know that this pencil line won't be seen. So I'm just going to draw a line. And then I'm also doing another six centimetres because I've got two straps. So I'll do another line here another six centimetre line and join them up okay so we're going to cut out two pieces of 50 centimetres by 50 centimetres for the body um, and there's a little phrase which is really good to remember when you're sewing and that is um, measure twice and cut once. Um, it is really easy to you know rush ahead get excited rush ahead cut it out and you cut the wrong piece the wrong size so always measure and then re-measure so I'm just going to measure that this is 50 centimetres here and here in the middle and at the end, which it is. So I know that this now here is 50 centimetres. So first of all, I am going to cut down here, level with this line. Okay. Now at the moment, I've got this as one complete piece of fabric. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut here gives me my two pieces of fabric. So I know that my width is 50 centimetres, but I almost, oh sorry, already also want my height to be 50 centimetres. Now I can check at the top and check that these are lying parallel, which they are. So I'm going to measure from that line there, I'm going to measure down 50 centimetres. I'm going to make a mark. And I'm going to measure here 50 centimetres and make a mark and I'm going to draw a line with pencil. Doesn't matter what you draw the line with because it will be it will not be seen. And then I'm going to just double check, yeah. So I now have two squares of 50 centimetres by 50 centimetres and I also 
also have my two handles, which are 50 centimeters by six centimeters. Okay, so those are the four pieces that we need ready to sew. Okay, what we're going to do at this stage is we're going to iron this fabric um, and make life easier for us later on. So we're going to create the straps um, and that involves ironing them into shape. And then we'll also use the iron to create the hem for the top of the body. So first of all, let's do the straps. Okay, now one of the great things about sewing is that you can change any of the dimensions to, um, to fit you, to fit what you would like. So if you want the straps to be thicker, um, just increase the, the width when you cut them out. These will end up being, um, well, you'll see in a second, but they'll end up being a little bit of a thinner strap. So first of all, what you're going to do is turn the side over by one centimetre and iron. first thing. Then you're going to turn it over again by another centimetre and iron again. Then you've got this unfinished edge here. You're going to fold that over and iron that. So it won't, it will come below that finished edge there. So that's about a centimetre as well. Okay, so. What we are going to do is that unfinished edge is actually going to be trapped inside the finished edge. And we're just going to sew a row of stitching down there. And that will be our finished strap. So that's the width of it. It's about one and a half centimeters. Okay, so I'm gonna do exactly the same for the other strap as well now. Okay, so this is the wrong side of the fabric, okay, and this is the top of the bag. So what we're going to do is iron the hem, so this will be the top hem at the top of the bag, um, so that it's prepared and ready for the next stage. It just makes it so much easier to do it at this stage rather than later on. So what we're going to do is turn over one centimetre and iron it okay and then turn over about two and a half three centimeters and iron that in place okay and then do exactly the same for the other piece And this is going to create our hem. So this is going to be the outside of the bag. And that will be the inside of the bag at the top. Okay, so we've now got the two pieces, two body pieces. And the right sides are touching each other. And we've got these hems that we just created. And it might seem a bit counterintuitive, but we're actually going to undo these hems. And we're going to pin... them together and we are going to sew down all three edges of the bag now. Okay, let's take this to the machine and sew the three edges. Okay, so let's sew the three sides. We'll do a hem of just under a centimetre. Don't forget to do the first few stitches backwards and forwards to secure it. And then sew all the way to 
the bottom of the first edge but stop about a centimeter before the bottom okay so let's just sew to about a centimeter away from the bottom and when you get to that point put the needle down keep the needle down lift the foot up and then pivot the fabric so that you can carry on and do the next row with a lovely sharp corner okay so all three sides are sewn now and you see that's the right side in there this is the wrong side and we've still got those hems that we're going to turn over in a second okay so you can see inside it's pretty much starting to look like a bag shape now now there's another step here which is optional and it will depend on your fabric but this fabric that i've got here it frays quite easily um you can see it's fraying quite a lot already and i've hardly really touched it that much so what i'm going to do is i'm going to zigzag stitch the edges which will stop this fraying um, you might have a fabric that doesn't particularly fray very much and you might not need to um, what I would say is it only takes a couple of minutes and it will give more life to the bag as well it will make, make the bag a bit more sturdy um, so it's probably worth doing but you don't have to do this step so I'm going to change the width on my sewing machine I'm going to do a width of like two and a half and I'm going to do a zigzag stitch all the way around the three sides a so now we've sewn the body together, we need to prepare the straps because they're going to be attached to the body in a second. So if you remember, we have already um, ironed this in place. So we're now just going to sew down this. You're gonna sew about three millimeters away from this edge. It won't be completely central, but that doesn't matter. Um, it's just going to give it a nice character. Okay, so put it in here. Remember to do the first few stitches backwards and forwards to secure it. And then sew all the way down, trying to remain as straight as you can. I wanted to show you a little mistake here. Because I was going so close to the edge, what I've done is I've missed sewing that piece of fab uh, that piece of fabric there. There's a line of cotton there, stitches, but they missed that. So I could just leave it, but I think that you'd be able to see it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do an extra little row of stitches there. You won't be able to see it because the um, the stitching is so. Um, the, the cotton matches it so well you can't really see it so I'm just going to go over that okay so I'm now going to do exactly the same with the second strap okay ta-da we now have two lovely straps okay so now we've got the straps made and we've got the body made the first thing to do is to turn over this hem that we ironed before and you will find that it will quite naturally sit in place. So sit that in the right position all the way around. That's the top hem and what we're going to do now is going to put the um, straps into the correct position. Okay so now we're going to think about where we're going to position the straps. So remember this is on the this is the wrong side of the fabric still. We haven't turned it to the right side yet. The straps essentially are going to sit underneath that hem and then they're going to be flipped over like that. Okay, one more thing to bear in mind before we start pinning and sewing is the um, the way that the strap sits. So this edge here is the correct side of the strap, the, str the side that we want to be on view. So this sits facing upwards and it will face upwards there and you need to check that there's no twists there. Okay, so now that we know where it's going to sit, let's just measure it. So we've got 13 centimetres in and it's just going to sit neatly 
underneath this flap just a couple of millimeters below the fold line there so i'm going to fold down that fold line 13 centimeters from the stitching edge i'm going to pin it in place and i'll do the same to the other side of the handle and then to the handle on the back side one more thing to check is that you can see I've got both of the handles there. Um, just if you can see the thicker side, so where I've sewn my seam, is on the inside here. And it's also the same on the other side. The thicker side is on the inside, just so that that matches up as well. Okay, so another thing to check, lots of checks here, is that these handles are the same length. So you're just basically going to sort of trace these handles so that you know, yeah, I can see that they're the same, same height. Um, one little final check before we start sewing is just check the seams and um, they will naturally fall one way or the other. Don't, you don't want them to be twisted there. You want them to lay flat. It doesn't matter which way they go, whether they go that way whether they sit that way or that way, it makes no difference whatsoever, but they just need to sit one way. Okay, so we're going to sew all the way around the hem. We're going to sew it on the inside and we're going to use this as a guide. So you're going to sew about three millimetres away from that edge, all the way around. Just be careful when you're going over here because there's quite a lot of fabric here and just be careful when you're on the seam as well. Okay, because again, a lot of fabric there. Right, don't forget to go backwards and forwards as ever on your first few stitches just to secure it and then sew all the way around. That's what it looks like from the inside and then on the outside when we turn it around. Now these handles, they're pretty secure as they are but it's not going to work with them sat there because this fabric it's not attached to it so it's just going to fall down so what we're going to do is we're going to attach each of these handles to the bag and it's going to be done on the right side and it's going to be there's going to be a square of stitching with a cross going through the middle and that just will make it really really sturdy and secure and um, what I'm going to try and do well I'm going to do is um, I'm going to do it all in one continuous row so I've just put a pin in position so that it stays straight and doesn't go skew with and we're going to sew the box now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my needle about three millimeters from the top of the hem and within just within the um where hold on, there we go just within where the handle is because what i want to do is when i'm sewing this i want to be sewing on the handle i don't want to be sewing outside of the handle because then it's not catching it so i'll just sew across there first so backwards and forwards first of all to secure it Remove this pin now and I'm going to sew to the edge, well not quite to the edge, just inside the edge of where the sleeve is, not the sleeve, the, uh, the handle. Okay and I'm going to pick it up, pivot it and then I'm going to come down and I'm going to come down to the row of stitching and I can feel that I'm still on top here of the handle. And I'm using my handle to guide me, just going a little bit slower. So I'm going to carry on sewing, I'm going to sew the box first. So back across here, stop just before I get to the end of the handle. Come up here to where I started. Okay. 
and then now I'm going to do the diagonal. So the first diagonal across to here. So now I'm going to go over one of the lines that I've already done. So I can set myself up ready for the second diagonal. Okay, and I'm ready to do the last diagonal over to here. And backwards for a few stitches and forwards. And then done. Okay, so this is what it looks like on the front and on the back. So let's just have a look at what we have got so far. So there is a completed bag here. So you could stop at this stage if you wanted to. And um, this is just a tote bag. But what we're going to do is we're going to go to the next stage and we're going to box it out essentially so that it sits flat um, it sounds very fancy but actually it's not it's really easy once you know how right so we're going to box the bag out so we've got the back the wrong side out okay so this is the wrong side of the fabric and essentially what you do to box it out is you go into the corner you make a triangle shape of this side seam and the bottom seam so if I show you the right way up that's the top of the bag so I've got the side seam and the bottom seam in the shape of a triangle and what I do then is I basically I I um, sew across there and cut it off and it creates a box shape. Now just um, things that you need to check, you need to check that the side seam and the bottom seam match up, okay, they need to sit right on top of each other, otherwise it looks a bit skew with. okay, so they need to sit on top of each other, so that's one thing to check. The other thing to check is that you haven't twisted this seam so you can see where this seam sits and it should carry on sitting that way so it doesn't twist with seven centimeters so I'm going to pin across here at seven centimeters and what I'm going to do is as a check I'm going to go inside and check that those seams match up. Yes, they do. That's great, okay? So I'm gonna sew across there and then I will do the same to the other side as well. Okay, so I'm gonna sew across, straight across the triangle. So both of them are sewn and I am going to cut off the excess fabric. Okay, and then because this fabric um, frays, I'm going to zigzag along that hem. So here's the box that we've created on the bottom. Okay, now the corners have been cut off. So let's turn it inside out and see what it looks like. Okay, so just to check the edges, that's what we're looking for, where they meet up. Okay, so here is our bag. It's a cute, slouchy kind of bag. Nice. Now, what I would like to do is I would like to give it a little bit more structure at the sides here. So create a little bit more of a shape. I think it will just make it look nice. So what I want to do now is measure from the centre seam here 
um, which is the side. So this is the side here, look. Okay, so I want to measure from the centre seam to the outer edge and the other side as well. I can see it's seven centimetres there and it's also seven centimetres the other side as well. And what I want to do is I want to measure at the top as well. So I'm going to measure that to be seven centimetres and put a pin in. And do the same on the other side, seven centimetres and put a pin in. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is take that to the sewing machine, to the iron, sorry, ironing board, and I'm going to just iron that side all the way down and that side as well, so that it will show me where I'm going to um, where I'm going to sew. Now, if you can see on the other edge, on the other end of the bag, I've already ironed that seam, so that's what it will look like. So I'll have an iron seam there and there and that's what we're then going to take to the sewing machine and sew a really thin line of stitching there i'm going to sew down the four edges that we've just um, ironed and i'm going to sew quite close to the edge probably about three millimeters away all um all the way down um this is going to be on view so i would take it slowly um and do it as neatly as you can so Four seams have been sewn now and hopefully you can see the stitching again there you can see how much of a difference it has made to the bag so it's given the ends definition as I've just looked at this bag I've thought that actually I'm going to add one more step that I wasn't planning on but I think will make even more of a, um, a better end product so I'm going to stitch across the bottom of the bag as well, the same where it's a really thin seam and the other side. And then also this seam here and this seam here. So effectively this bottom box pleat, I'm going to sew all around this bottom box pleat, just a very thin edge because I think that will just give it a really nice finished look as well. You don't have to do this last bit, this is optional, but I'm going to do it on this one. What I would recommend is when you're sewing all these four sides, I would sew them in four separate strips. I wouldn't try and sew all the way around um, the four sides in one go um, because I just think it will um, it will make it a little bit messy at the corners. So this is what it looks like now that it has been sewn. It's the bottom box pleat. Okay, and it just gives it more definition and it will just naturally fold in on itself. Okay, like that. But it, what it needs now is a good iron and that will make the world of difference. So now that you've ironed it, this is the finished tote bag. So you can see it's got the definition at the sides and then at the bottom as well. So it's a really cute tote bag. Um, you can do it in any size, any colour, um, and I hope that you've enjoyed making it. I think it looks lovely. I recommend that you watch the tutorial how to make an envelope cushion. It's a really simple project. It uses one piece of fabric and four rows of stitching and it turns out a beautifully made simple cushion. So head on over there and I will see you in that tutorial. So happy sewing!